Task 3. Just the same as previously, we're going to drag our file into BBC Basic. So, bring up BBC Basic, get your folder in front of it, and drag in Task 3. Let's just have a look at the end result that we're going to get here. So, we've got the program asking the user to enter their name. So, they enter their name. And then the computer will print out a greeting with their name throughout the screen. So once that's finished, what we could do is take a screen print and use it in something else if we wanted to do. Send it as a message or whichever. So let's just have a look at what our program's doing to start with. Colour 128 is a background colour. So it would be black. So our colours, if you go into the booklet, Go right down to the last page, and here's our list of colors. So, color 128 is black, same as color zero or graphics color zero, but for a background color. CLS will then clear the screen in that color, and color 15 white for our text. It asks the user to enter their name, it's going to store it in this alphanumeric variable. Now we're setting up a repeat until loop, so we've got our loop there set to zero repeat until it keeps adding one to the value of loop until we get to 10 so if we run this one at the moment it's asking for their name and all it's doing right now is just saying happy birthday all the way across because it's not using their name anywhere within the program it's just asking for it we're not doing anything else with it so let's just go back up to that task First of all, we need to make it print the user's name after happy birthday and stay on the same line. Well, this is where it's printing happy birthday. Semicolons make it stay on the same line. So you should be able to work out how to do that. Always make sure you run, save your program, make sure it's working. Add an extra space to separate out each message. So at the moment, we need an extra space there so that on either side of our message there are spaces otherwise they start to clump together without spaces in them make it print the message a thousand times ok we'll have a look at the loop just like we did last time the moment it's doing the message ten times you need to make it do that a thousand times so just for the until we're going to slow things down a little bit by using a wait command so to get in front of that until Click in front of it, press enter, and we can then put our wait one command. And that just slows the program down a little bit so that we can see the message appearing on the screen as it goes through the loops. Okay, so now we need to make certain that we are using random covers. So we want these to be inside the loop. Click just for print. Give yourself two lines, so we need to generate a random number and assign it to a variable. Then we need to use that variable for a color command. So it won't be a G call, it'll be a color because we're working with text. So if you're not certain how to do that, have a look at your previous programs. So on this one, then, because one of the colors then that comes with color 8 is a dark gray, so we're going to use an if then else statement technically we don't need the else bit here so we could just say if c equals 8 then let c equals c plus 1 so basically let c equal 9 else let c be whatever it already is so else leave it alone so we don't really need the else bit there but I've put that in just so that we're still using an if then else statement this one needs to go just before your colour command, so in between the two commands that you've done for step 12 there. So once again, let's just have a look at our end result. We should then get our greetings coming along the screen. 